receivers and running backs, you know what they can do if they get it together. Stafford in his 10th year. Slings it to the outside. Caught. That'll be a first down. That's Kenny Galladay, an emerging star. Gilmore covering on the play. And the first first down of the game belongs to the Lions. Yeah, most people know about Golden Tate and Marvin Jones, but this Kenny Galladay has really made an impression on everybody. He's sort of that intermediate route catcher. You've got Golden Tate on this offense. They get the ball to him quickly. A lot of moves. Marvin Jones, the deep threat. But this guy has become a force in that middle range. Got a couple of good receiving backs out of the backfield, and he is, as he is everywhere he goes, the hammer. And that high draft pick is in the backfield right now, Kerry and Johnson, who stays in the block, and the pass is caught at the 25 yard line. That is Kenny Galladay and Jason McCourty. Devin's twin, who came over from Cleveland in a trade at the beginning of the year, makes the stop. When you play the Patriots, the one thing you have to be able to do is block these big linebackers. They are huge. A lot of times the backs can't handle it. Nice job there by the rookie, Carry On Johnson. If you can't pick up those guys, you're in for a long night. There are the twins. Oh. Blunt leads the back. Take it to him. Stafford fires. That'll be caught. And the ball comes out. It's a little short of the goal line. They keep the ball. That's Galladay who couldn't get in. It is out of bounds at the one yard line. The ball spinning away. Gilmore makes the stop. It's third and goal from the one yard line. Now you'll see this little sidearm throw. And remember, you'll see the receiver's foot go across the line. But that does not matter. Does the ball go across the line? They dropped. Oh, there it is. I think this is going to be a touchdown. Well, they got to challenge it. It was ruled out. So if Patricia wants to challenge, we think he's going to win it. And here comes the flag. Did Matt Patricia throw that red flag that far? Well, I don't know. The flag winds. The runner extended ball beyond the goal line prior to losing control. And it's a touchdown. He's put 14 minutes, 12 seconds on the game clock. 14 12. Win the challenge. The extra point. Well, he's just tuning nine. in and saw Never that done. statistic. Two. You think Wait. it's a misprint? You're like watching the Buffalo. That's what I was just thinking. <laughs> Flea flicker. Snapper deep downfield with a flag thrown. Coverage is good. Dominating the intended receiver. And Cleet Blakeman will be the next voice you will hear. Now there was a lot of contact going back and forth with J.C. Jackson. It's like they're trying to figure out if it was in the air or before. Prior to the pass, holding defense from the 27. It's a five-yard penalty, automatic first down. The rookie out of Maryland playing with Cross and another rookie. So you get a little delay while they do the flea flicker and then try to take off. And let's see what J.C. Jackson does at that point. What do you think? Yeah. Mm. Can't tell. Mm -hmm. We have an official in the booth now. I'm letting him make all. And a win would really help them buy into that. Second down and goal. Stafford. And that will be caught out of bounds. It's Galladay who's there, but he is on the choice. Well, you saw Brady along that sideline. Frustrated. They have had the ball for four minutes. He's going to have to warm up again. <laughs> right. Check out Galladay. Now, he didn't make this play, or did he? No, I think that left heel was down. But, Al, I've seen him make catches like that game after game. He is one of the most impressive catchers of the football I've seen this year. 6'4", second year out of Northern Illinois. We'll get the, top, the Lions will the second half kickoff. Riddick is in the backfield. 54, 54, Four man rush. Stafford throws. And then trying to find the sideline and get there, but can is Kenny Galladay, and he's a little short of the first down. And the Lions will have to take a timeout here with 25 seconds. Well, the stage is set for over the top or sidearm. Second down and 10. 
Stafford fires. Caught. Can he get out of bounds though? That's Kenny Galladay. He's got a first down, but that should take us to triple zeros. And it did play it. It's very last. He gets some momentum back. Stafford throws. And there's the momentum back as Galladay makes the catch on the third and nine. He gets free along the sideline, gain of 16. Okay, this is as good a throw as you're going to see. Jonathan Jones is going to be right underneath this throw that's coming out like this. And Stafford has to lob it up over the top of him, and yet inside the boundary, that was something special by Matthew Stafford. 